Okay guys, I'm back for the walkthrough. So this turned out pretty cool. A lot of movement and I love the colors. I think they turned out really awesome. So I repurposed a 24 by 36 canvas. Now I'll tell you, I have a little anxiety about how this is going to dry because I might have too much paint on the canvas. Um, as you notice, I threw a lot down and then I also put a lot of black down. So I'll show you where I have some concerns. Um, I'm sort of watching to see if it's moving, but the canvas was pretty level and pretty taut. If anything, um, it'll just take longer to dry. So I, yeah, I love it. I love this technique. I had a good time today. Um, so I just want to show you some of the cells and move in just to show you some of the details. They're multicolored, as you can see, um, over to this corner. So my concern, is in this area right in here. Um, I don't want those to get too elongated. Um, they're fine down at the corner and around the edges, um, but there's some that are sort of, like I said, elongated. And I don't want that, to, I don't want any more of this to be elongated. I mean, I know, you know, these up here, that's just the way they formed. They're gonna be okay. Um, but nothing else, like these round ones here and here, they seem to be fine. So that's why I'm thinking, it, it'll, it should dry as is, and so on the corners here as well. So yeah, let me just give you a little bit of a tour of all that's going on. I don't know, I was gonna call this starburst or sunburst or something because it was just so, the color is so dramatic. Um, when I threw down that, that was a berry red, I think, and there's my window, yeah. Um, you know, I get more of that around the periphery, I think, you know what I said, I'm learning to let go of everything being so perfect and symmetrical. And I think that adds for better composition actually. And I'm a little bit happy with that. Or I should say, at least it gives more interest. There you go, some of the details close up. There you go. The edges are dry. I've already run my finger around them so that the, the paint isn't pulling in any direction. And I really don't think it's gonna move much more. I, I say that now. Um, this sort of was a test canvas um, with this technique because I really want to do more of this. Um, similar, similar sizes, larger or smaller. I just love sort of the brushed look and how it's sort of all mixed in over here, as you can see. And, it, and you know, to a degree, it looks like it's all just kind of rushing in an interesting direction. You know, you have it moving this way and some swirl. Oops, where's my finger? Up top and around through here and sort of exiting out over here. So I think, yeah, I think it's got a lot of promise. We'll see how it does overnight. <laughs> uh, keep my fingers crossed. I, th I think, I think it'll be okay. There's nothing in the middle that I would touch up, actually. You know, I talked about touch ups before. I think, you know, these bigger cells here um, add some interest and I think they should stay as is. Um, yeah, I'm thinking, thinking that's about it. Okay guys, I have no idea if I'm gonna do anything tomorrow. Uh, it would be a good day to do something because I'm not working. But since this is wet and it may be really wet even tomorrow, I don't wanna move it. So if it stays as is, thumbs up. Okay guys, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great start to the week.